Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to a brand new episode of The Core. My name's Samia, and today is April 28th, 2017. Let's start today's show by looking at the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist, Marta. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist Marta. It's right around 1 o'clock, and the temperature outside is a hot 76 degrees. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing sunny weather. The day appears to be a perfect day to go swimming or go on a hike. As always, have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update, Marta. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is David, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Why did the banana go to the doctor's office? Because he wasn't peeling well. Why is the teddy bear never hungry? Because he's always stuffed. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. And until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, David. Now for all the word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Madison, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is sluggish. Sluggish is an adjective. Sluggish is defined as lazy or not active. Slow moving and dull are synonyms for sluggish. In a sentence, sluggish can be used like this. After a long, big lunch, I feel sluggish. Sluggish, can you use it today? Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Lucas with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Lucas, and today's true or false topic is turtles. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. Six out of the seven species of turtles are endangered. True. Leather seaback turtles can travel more than 10,000 miles every year. True. Green sea turtles can stay underwater for four hours. False. They can stay underwater for five hours. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now from the creative minds of Aiden and Matthew. It's today's stop motion short titled Cutting Earth. Great work, kids. Now let's get to know one of the students here at MESMS. My name is Thomas, and I am on Team 6Y. Three words that describe me are kind, funny, and athletic. My favorite hobbies outside of school are playing baseball and family time. It's all about me. Now let's take it back to the studio. What I want to be when I grow up is a pro baseball player or a finance analysis. My favorite subject is math because I love solving problems. That's all about me. Back to the studio. It's during middle school we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Today we want to discuss how to include someone who is left out. Nathan and Sarah asked some kids to reflect on the topic. Let's see what they had to say. I can include somebody who is not included by asking them to hang out. I can include someone who is not being included by asking if they want to be included. You can include the person by leaving who you're with and going over to be with them. You can include someone that's not included by telling them to be included and to ask them if they want to I can include someone who's not included by asking them to sit with me at lunch. I can include someone when they were excluded by inviting them to play soccer with me at lunch. I can include somebody that was excluded by letting them sit with me at lunch. One way to include someone is to invite them to play games with you. One way you can include someone is by asking them if they want to do something. To include someone who's not included in whatever you're doing, you could go talk to them or something. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Julia with Today in History. Hello, my name is Julia, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this day in the year 1991, Space Shuttle STS-39 launched. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on the Space Shuttle STS-39. The SS-39 was the 12th mission of the Space Shuttle Discovery. The purpose was to conduct a variety of payload experiments. This has been Today in History for April 28th. Now let's take it back to the studio. Great job. Now let's go to Ashley with today's quote. Hi, my name is Ashley, and here are today's words of wisdom by Eleanor Roosevelt. With a new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Those are the words to live by. Let's take it back to you in the studio. We were wondering, what's better than taking a selfie? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. What's better than taking a selfie is taking pictures of nature. Watching TV. Something better than taking a selfie is going outside. Something that's better than taking a selfie is eating food. 
One thing that's better than taking a selfie is drinking water. Something better than do than taking a selfie is playing soccer outside. Something better than taking a selfie is seeing Come Donald on. Trump in person. Something better than taking a selfie is playing basketball. Go outside and play with your friends. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Isabella with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Bella, and today's lesson is from English class. Today in English class, we learned about the book, They Cage the Animals at Night. The main character has friends who are like family to him. Jennings, the main character, learns that he needs family, such as the bus driver, Sal. Thanks, Isabella. That's our show for April 28, 2017. We would like to thank all the students who contributed to today's episode. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked today's episode, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. As always, remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.